Uh, the Ultimate Fighting Championship has um, had a lot to do over the next little bit. They have a big card coming up in Saudi Arabia this weekend. Uh, that one, we, we saw the change with Robert Whittaker uh, getting a new opponent as Hamza Jamayev comes off of that one. They've had to change UFC 303, and now UFC 305 has a main event. Uh, Israel Adesanya takes on Drakus Duplessis for the middleweight championship of the world, and this is such a fantastic Fight. It's the only fight to make for both of these guys. Israel Adesanya deserves a title shot uh, basically anytime he wins a fight. Um, or deserves, I guess, an opportunity at a title shot. Um, and Drakus Duplessis is a fighting champion, and this was the obvious number one contender. So this is really the only fight to make for both these guys. And this was an intense rivalry that gets put on hold because Strickland goes out and beats Israel Adesanya, and then DDP beats Strickland. So moving to the front of the line is the defending champion who now gets, I don't want to say a rematch for the title, but another shot at a title um, just with a, a different champion. And there is a, a lot of heat between these two for a, a lot of different reasons. And this is one that I think needs a unique build. The UFC, for a bit, has, I don't want to say fallen into, but kind of fallen into a bit of a pattern of we're going to do, um, we're, we're going to do the countdown, we're going to do embedded, and then we're going to do the fights. But I remember about UFC 94, so a ways ago now, GSP and BJ Penn, when they did the UFC primetime, it just made both these guys feel special. And I would like to bring this back. And I wonder if the, the documentary they did on the UFC just in general over on, on Roku might be a good entry point for that. Um, or, I mean, like you, you have ESPN Plus where you can just throw content on there for days, right? Um, but... One of the things that I think UFC needs to take in their partnership now with WWE under TKO is building up the big fight and or building up the, these big events in unique ways. Like they, they've done big fights well, but I think now it needs a bit of star making. Like you have a guy who's been the face of the division for a real, 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 real long time. Now he's trying to get back to the top of the mountain one more time. He's taking on the younger lion who is making some claims about some stuff. And this is a, a fighter that people can get excited about. And this is a rivalry that I think can really jumpstart um, DDP. Even if he loses, this can be a rivalry that jumpstarts it. And so if it were me, I would love for them, or if it were up to me, I would love for them to be able to kind of create a little bit more drama out of this and create create a couple of stars. Like, Izzy is a star. I shouldn't say that. But create a star out of DDP in, in this whole thing. And I, I think with some of that extra stuff, some of that, that extra character building, he does have a unique story. Tell that story. Um, let, let's go out and, and actually build this guy up. I think that would be a really interesting way of, of going about this. Because we've seen over the last couple of weeks... This company needs those big high-end stars now. It's kind of Connor and everyone else. John Jones, too, and everybody else. But what's the common denominator with those two guys? They've been around for a bit. Um, Izzy, I, I think, can be on that level, given the, the right opponent, and I do think this is the right opponent. Um, but I, I do think that there is now a need to build up that next wave of stars. And they have a couple of them, like Sean O'Malley and those type of guys. But I, I think you have to get creative in trying to, to kind of manufacture that a little bit. And so I think going the extra mile with kind of an, a 24-7 style of series around a DDP might be a way to, to build up uh, another star here in the Ultimate Fighting Championship.